For the next 36 hours, these 250 students will be competing for $30,000. In just the past year alone, we've had startups valued at almost half a billion dollars, and one of them could be sitting right here. And as the room fills up with more and more people, it's vital that everyone starts mingling, finding potential partners and scouting out the competition. And as alliances were formed, the competitors were finally told what they would be judged on. The rules are simple. Come up with an idea for an app focused on sustainability, powered by the blockchain. Contestants will have 36 hours to build an app that encourages people to save the environment. And at the end of it, they'll have to pitch their idea, Shark Tank style, to the judges. At the end, two winners for each category will be named as well as prizes for the runners-up. With everyone knowing what's expected of them, there was no time to waste. And naturally, some teams got off to a better start than others. We have this is our third hackathon in a third country. So and by the way, this guy, if, if we win this, it'll be his 11th hackathon winning. Yes. It's been a really long day. We left Southampton at 4 a.m. So another 36 hours of staying awake. Hopefully it pays off. Yeah, so I've uh, got a team of five of us just set up here. At the moment, it's very early stages. We're just trying to define our idea and then see where it goes from there. And just a few hours into the day, some interesting ideas were already starting to form. We have a few, but... Uh, I think we need to chase them up, kind of figure things out and let things solidify a bit over the next few hours. We're thinking of a recycle to earn token. It individually rewards you for recycling your own water bottles, etc. And it also rewards you for community impact as well. We had a few ideas, something to do with recycling and then food waste as well. But we're just trying to find which one we really want to go with. It's going well. We're still discussing the idea. We're debating it. We're trying to find all the loopholes. It's, it's, I'm very excited about the ideas that we have. Let's see where we come up with, but yeah. By now, every group should have a good idea of what's going on. But as I was going around, I noticed that some groups were still struggling. So I offered my help by hosting a quick Q&A. Make sure that the one thing that you do have is team slide and show off as much as possible how brilliant you are. And it seemed as though this really helped because over the coming hours, a lot of progress was made. But there was one team that seemed to be doing better than the others. So I've been walking around and that team sitting right there are really, really good. I'm very excited to see what they built. A lot of people have been talking about them. They are instilling a lot of fear in the other teams. And that guy behind me there, just in the cap as well, he's a great hacker. He's been at previous hackathons before. He's smashed it, he's won. So I'm excited to see what they do. I think it's neck and neck with a lot of teams right now. Two really strong teams a lot of people are talking about here and a lot of other strong teams around as well. 12 hours of work later and the teams were starting to get pretty worn out. Okay, so the time is um, nine. You've got a lot to do, so. And this moment can be the difference between winning thousands of dollars or nothing. I call it the breaking point. You see, later on in the night, people become restless. They become sleepy and they want to switch off. After coding and working for 12 hours straight, the brain naturally wants to get a bit of shut eye. And with some people having traveled for hours this morning to get here, they have to make a decision. Push through or get some rest and grind it out in the morning. We're staying here over the night. No sleep, hopefully, unless I drowse off by myself. But So my teammates are going to sleep a little bit, yeah. Uh, I'll probably be staying overnight yeah. just to get the grind done, yeah. We're staying the whole night. We're grinding for the whole night. The big players, the big teams, they stay out for the whole minute, every single minute until Fergie time. That's how we're working. We're not stopping. And with each hour, more and more people left. It's 2 a.m. at the hackathon right now, and the last survivors are still hacking at the hackathon. I'm probably gonna go and get a little bit of shower right now, maybe a quick nap, maybe a shower, and then I'll check in on everybody in the morning. I'm excited to see what everybody's continuing to build and where they get by maybe about seven o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. It's the start of day two. Let's see what everybody's been hacking on. I think people will be really, really tired. A lot of them haven't slept at all. They're literally hacking all the way through the night. And looks like it's a pretty packed room. Everybody's still hacking. And I can't wait to see what happens when we bring the coffee out. I think that's gonna be a pretty big free-for-all for the coffee side. So how'd you guys, how'd you guys sleep? Uh, on the chairs, but like this. Three of us, we got a place. We went and uh, had a good night's sleep, but um, two of us stayed here all night. It was it was intense. We barely got any sleep, like maybe less than half an hour. We were we we're trying to make things work. Unfortunately, I did not have any sleep because I had a lot of work to do. Trying to rush and complete most of the work before the deadline, which is in in about two hours. So it's kind of chaotic. Uh, time is currently 10 a.m. on yeah. the dot. Uh, last night we crashed about 12 o'clock. We basically nailed everything we needed to get done. Came back, hit the grind about seven o'clock this morning. Now we're 
hour 15 of the build, running on empty and a hell of a lot of caffeine. After a long night, the morning inevitably came and the reality of the situation started to kick in. For some, they're almost finished, but for others, it's not looking as promising and the hardest is still on the horizon. We've also got Leo's team. I think they had a couple of issues earlier, but they sort of managed to fix them, right? Feeling good? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. It's not over yet. I know that a couple of teams here were struggling late last night, so I actually want to check in on them and see where they've got to. Yo guys, how are you doing? Good. I know at some point last night, you were also feeling like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. How, how are you feeling now compared to maybe 2 a.m. last night when we asked what up? A lot of progress oh. has been made. But well, I love how you're also drinking water out of a protein thing. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> the biggest thing is you need to make sure that you submit by 12 o'clock because if you don't submit by 12, 12.01, that'll be like hard cut off, like judges won't be able to do it. It's manageable in two hours, but there's a lot to do. Show as many features as possible, trying to portray our vision, and that's what we're doing. Yeah, so we're just making some minor adjustments once again. Uh, we can't reach one of our team members for the call, so there's a bit of a problem there. Uh, so yeah, it's crunch time. Wait, we're running low on time. We can get it submitted with the best quality we can because this, this product really does deserve to get off to the market. So we want to give it everything we've got. Yeah, we're just about to submit, just getting things ready. Eight minutes left, so just I'm gonna submit it last minute, but yeah. Uh, we are crunching very, very hard to get the final bits in by 12. <laughs> the pressure is getting worse. We're rushing to submit. Last five minutes, our GitHub isn't working. We literally clutched it up with nine seconds to go. We slashed it. Wait, watch this tick over. Eight, seven, six. There we go. And with that, everyone had managed to submit. Whatever they come up with is final. A major relief for everyone. But the hard work is far from over because over the next hour, we're going to hear the pitches from every group. It's vital that they sell their idea because this could be the difference between walking away with thousands of dollars or with nothing at all. We're so ready. We've never been more ready. So confident. I'm a bit anxious, but I'm excited to pitch my idea. The entire team is like super excited and excited for the results as well. And after 36 long hours, the winners were finally announced. But ultimately, regardless of where they placed, everyone here is a winner in their own right. And that's because of all the lifelong friendships, knowledge, and experiences that they gathered. Long night, a lot of work. Uh, good to see it paid off, and I really like our project as well. We won! Yeah. <laughs> super excited! Yes, we finished second. second. second yes. Please. Yeah, but there was no first place. I don't know, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really amazing, like, I learned a lot. Before this event, I didn't know that much about blockchain. Here, I have coded an app that uses blockchain which is amazing. So we ended up winning the competition yeah. and oh, yes. yeah. the craziest part is on 3 a.m. of the day of the competition, I called each of these guys and we decided to go. We didn't have anything planned. We just showed up. Wow, what a weekend. The hackathon's now over. We did not expect to have the winners that we had. If you want to be part of the next hackathon, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and you can also download the EZA app.